Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to continue on with the AP Calculus 2014 exam. So let's get into it. Um, train A runs back and forth on east-west section of railroad track. Train A's velocity measured in meters per minute is given by the differentiable function VA, where T is measured in minutes. Selected values for VA are given above. above. Below. So I get velocity and time, find the average acceleration over 2 to 8. So average acceleration is a secant line slope, um, and acceleration is the change in velocity over time. So in this case, um, from 2 to 8, we go from the one, minus 120 minus 100 over 8 minus 2. That's minus 220 divided by 6, and that's... Um, Minus three. Wait, is this right? One is one twenty minus two twenty over six. Okay, so three is eighteen forty, then six and two thirds um, meters per minute squared. Okay. Do the data in the table support the conclusion that train A's velocity is minus 100 per meter at some time between 5 and 8? Given a reason for it. Um, yes. By the intermediate value theorem, it goes because it ranges from, well, let me see. First, because it's, okay, so it's because it's differentiable, that means VA is continuous. And by the intermediate value theorem, because between 5, it, tr it goes between 40 and minus 150. That means it has to have passed through minus 100 at some point um, to pass through minus 100 since VA at 5 equals 40, which is greater than minus 100. And VA of 5 are at 8 is equal to minus 150, which is less than minus 100. At time t equals 2, train A's position is 300 meters east of the origin station, and the train is moving to the east. Write an expression involving integral of the position of train A in meters from the origin station at time t equals 12. Use trapezoid sum. Okay, so at time t equals 2, He's 300 meters east, and the train is moving east. Write an expression from the origin at time t equals 12. So between 2 and 12, the integral of his velocity is his displacement. This would be his displacement between 2 and 12 seconds, but he starts off at 300 meters plus 300 meters. Okay, so this would be my expression for c. And um, to estimate this integral, we want to consider these terms here. And we're going to use the trape trapezoid sum. So that means um, um, each one of these. So what you do is um, you average these values to be the height um, of the rectangle. Is that what trapezoid sum does? Yeah, I average these two. So the average of these two. So it's going to be 1 half. Um, my interval 5 minus 2 times uh, 100 plus 40 plus 1 half 8 minus 5 3 sub intervals uh, minus 120 plus 40 and then plus 1 half 12 minus 8 times minus 150 plus minus 120 okay so this is one half, oops, one half times three times one forty, plus one half times three times minus eighty, plus one half times four times minus uh, two seventy. So I I can take out the one half out of all of these, and yeah. And then um, 3 times 40, that's 3 times the difference. I can factor out the 3. 3 times 60, that's 180. Plus, or actually it would be minus 
4 times 270 um, 4 times 270 27 times 4 is 28 carry the 2 8 10 so 1080 um, 1 8 so 1080 minus 180 is 900 so this is 1 half times minus 900 and that's equal to minus 450 and displacement would be meters but I got to add the 300 here so plus 300 minus 150 meter okay D second train travel B uh, travels north from the origin station at time T the velocity of the train B is given by VB of T is this and at time T equals 2 the train is okay 400 meters north of the station. Find the rate in meters per minute, which is the distance between train A and train B is changing at times t equals 2. So at times t equals 2, um, oh, I see. Train. So I got to do a picture. Train A is going east west, and at times 2, he's 300 meters so from this part. So here's where train A is. Now train B travels north. At times t equals 2, he's 400 meters. No, so train B is north of the station by 400 meters. And find the rate at which the distance. And then so um, A is traveling at 2 seconds. His velocity equals 100 meters per minute. And his velocity well let's see VB at 2 is equal to um, minus 5 times 4 plus 60 times 2 plus 25 is equal to minus 20 plus 120 plus 25 and that's equal to 125 okay and so we're gonna say that VB is 125 meters per minute going northward and so what's the range of change of the distance well the distance between the two we'll call this distance um, we'll call it X um, X squared equals X a squared plus X B squared the position so um, taking the derivative I have 2 X DX DT and I want dx dt, right? dx dt would be the rate of change of that distance. Equals 2xa. The derivative of xa dt, which would be va, plus 2xb vb. The twos cancel here. So dx dt is equal to xa va plus xb vb over x. And plugging in the numbers that I know, XA is 300, VA is 100, XB is 400, VB is 125, and then X, which is the distance between them, because this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, it's 500. Okay, so the hundreds kind of here cancel out of there. So I get 300 plus 500. That's 800 over 5. So I'm going to finish it. So it's 800 over 5. And that's equal to 160 meters per minute. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the 2014 response AP calculus scoring guidelines see how we did on number oh that's too far question four minus 110 over three is that what I got yeah minus 110 over three same thing uh, it's continuous intermediate value theorem yep because negative 100, yeah, because it's between those two. Minus 150, 
I got the integral set up correctly 300 plus this so it's minus 150 and I got 160 feet meters per minute all right cool we got that one right so um, yeah um, thanks for so that's uh, the fourth question of the AP calculus for response so yeah um, thanks <laughs>